Good afternoon. Welcome to The Topic. I'm Todd Duplantis. This is a show where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I want to thank all of you for watching us on Facebook Live and YouTube. We're here just about every Tuesday, live at 1 p.m. You can also catch the show on HCC TV and look for us in social media as Houston Community College District. If you're into podcasts, all of our shows are available, the audio versions available for download at hccs.edu slash podcasts. We're uh, Houston Community College students are partners in making the college the very best it can be. Today, we're exploring student government, how that works. Joining us right now is Igor Lucic, who is the treasurer for the Student Government Association for the Central College. Igor, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Todd. Great to be here. So let's start off with reminding everybody the Student Government Association, what is it and what's the purpose? Uh, that's a great question. So what exactly SGA is, is the way I like to explain it and think of it is as a megaphone. So each school has chancellors and directors and principals that are all um, focused on student success and student futures, but unfortunately HCC is too big. So yeah, it's impractical for each chancellor to meet up with students one-on-one. -on -one. So that's why a student government was formed to kind of listen to, you know, have boots on the ground, listen to kids, what's working, what's not working, and be able to kind of elevate things that the chancellor should work on around the school. What are some of the issues that pop up that you guys deal with that you do bring to the administration's uh, attention? Um, All kinds of different things. Uh, right now, the biggest issue is a lot of campuses, due to COVID protocols, um, a lot of the doors are like still labeled as exit only and entrance only. So a lot of students, especially with mobility issues, um, don't really see the purpose of that and the value of that and are, are, are hoping for all the um, um, exterior doors to be, you know, back to normal with entry right. and exit being possible. But outside of that, that's the biggest issue we're working on. Um, how did you get involved with SGA? My story is pretty simple. Um, you know, I was making my way to my philosophy class, I believe. And I saw a poster for SGA elections. And initially I ran as president for Central. Um, unfortunately, the voters spoke and I did not end up winning that election. Um, but luckily the um, people that organized it loved my campaign so much, I was still offered a position as treasurer for Central. And is what do you enjoy the most about the SGA? Um, I mean, it sounds kind of corny and simple, but really just, you know, coming together as students, um, whether it be my team of, you know, really interesting people from different backgrounds or, you know, being able to hand out, you know, fresh, warm food to <laughs> starving college students and just being able to talk to them one on one and, uh, you know, seeing what, what what's going on in their lives and just being able to connect on people on such a direct level. What is your major yourself and uh, is do you have any political aspirations as you move forward in your uh, professional career? Uh, yeah, um, you know, uh, right now I'm studying computer science. Uh, rather soon I'm going to actually switch over to AI because most people don't know this. Uh, Houston Community College is one of the first colleges in the nation to offer an AI degree. So I'm at the right place at the right time. So I definitely want to capitalize on that. And as for the political aspirations, I'll give you the most generic, you know, political issue. It's not off the table yet, but uh, we'll look at it <laughs> when the time comes. Have you learned from this experience? Uh, should you want to go into politics in the future? You think this is something that'll benefit you? I mean, uh, to be honest, uh, whether politics or not, I think just for any kind of student, any kind of background, whether it be nursing, business, to get involved in student government, because I mean, a lot of the skills that I was able to pick up on and learn are really just, you know, translates to any kind of field. Um, you know, just being able to connect with people and plan things and organize things. Um, you know, these ensure you've uh, a successful career in any kind of um, aspiration, whether it be political or not political. But um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You guys have, um, I imagine, meetings that are open for students to attend. Anyone can attend these meetings. How often are those and uh, how do students get involved with that? I'm glad you asked that. So, yes, every single SGA, whether it be Central, Southwest, um, you know, every single HCC is broken down to a district and each district has their own student government. Each one um, by the Constitution has to have a general assembly every single month. Um, this general assembly is open to every single student because 
Fun fact, every HCC student is actually a member of student government. Um, so it's open to all, every single student as well as uh, every single registered club in that uh, district. Um, every single SGA has it at different times and different locations. So the best way to stay in touch is actually to go on presence. Um, each HCC uh, government, uh, each HCC government has their own presence page with ways to contact them, ways to stay in touch, probably direct numbers, direct emails. Um, so, you know, I, I can attest for myself and my own uh, central members that, uh, you know, we give out our phone numbers directly and we, we right. tell people to just contact us directly to let us know, I mean, to just stay in touch. But yes, yeah, just go on presence, look up your own HCC um, student government members, and, you know, those should be able to have a, a calendar or a way to contact them for that. And if a student, um, you mentioned all students are a member of the SGA automatically, um, how do they run for office? Is that something you have to sign up for before, or do you have to uh, uh, approach the uh, the current government and get their permission? How does that work? Yeah, so it's op it's kind of modeled after you know, actual United States politics. So the campaign starts around March or April, I believe, the end of the spring semester. And, you know, you don't have, I didn't know anything about SGA before I started running. Um, all you have to do is do some basic uh, paperwork, submit your photo, submit your name, you know, your major. I think the only qualification you need, I could be wrong, is to have above a 2.5 GPA okay. and have at least two classes this semester. But other than that, you just have to run, you know, in any way you can. I passed out, you know, actual flyers with my name on it, my picture on it, uh, just to motivate students to vote. We had in-person voting as well as online voting. And it was just really up to the students um, on who they selected to be, you know, the representative for that school. But no, you don't have to have any background. If someone is looking at maybe running for office or getting more involved with the SGA, what words of encouragement would you give them? Um, you know, think long term, not short term. I think, uh, especially ours, uh, we're very motivational students. We're very ambitious students. And that's a great thing and also can be a bad thing because um, at the beginning, we were we want to do everything with everybody. But as time goes on, you just kind of learn to kind of narrow your scope and narrow your focus on what exactly are you trying to achieve and are you working towards that? So, again, think of it as a marathon rather than just a sprint. And once again, you said there's a presence web page on uh, the website. Where can people find information on your particular web page? So, yes, I represent Central, so all I have to do is go to HCC Presence, um, just like any other student club, like Anime Club or the Computer Science Association. All you have to do is just type in, like, Central, and then you should be able to find it from there. Okay. Igor Lucy, Lucic uh, joining us for the show today. Igor, thanks for being here on the show and letting people know a bit about the SGA. We're going to learn more about it. In fact, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, we'll catch up with the Southwest College SGA and also learn about the United Student Council. What's that all about? The topic returns in 60 seconds. Sometimes what you need just shows up. Houston Community College has your back. Whether you're knocking out some basics or up in your game for a better job, enroll today for spring classes and frame your future with HCC. For more than a year, we have kept you informed with more than 500 remote episodes. But now we're back bigger and better with more news and more guests. Join us live every weekday at 10 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube and on HCC TV at noon and 5 p.m. You can watch from anywhere. We go where you go. Welcome back to The Topic. I'm Todd Duplantis, and we're live this Tuesday afternoon with your show, as we are just about every Tuesday afternoon, live at 1 p.m., and you can catch us on HCC TV. Look for us in social media. It's Houston Community College District. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like to download podcasts, all of our shows are available as audio versions, downloadable at hccs.edu slash podcasts. We're talking about student government this 
afternoon. We're joined now by Atishi Singh, who is the president of the Southwest SGA and also secretary for the United Student Council. Welcome to the show. Let's Thank you for having you. me. Here we go. Yeah, good to see you. Um, tell us a few things uh, you have going on with the Southwest Student Government Association, because I know you have a lot of events happening. What are some of them you had this semester? So we had actually quite a few events um, during October this past month. We have been quite active. Um, all of our events always align to basically whatever is happening outside of the HCC community. So students are aware not just of what's happening within HCC, but also they're motivated to kind of go out of their comfort zone and everything. So um, on October 12th, we actually had a mental health awareness day where we had um, uh, one of our HCC counselors kind of speak, give workshops on mental health and how to sort of balance that, um, master the art of balance regarding how to, um, you know, how you can be ambitious, like an amb academically ambitious student, but also ensuring that your mental health and like taking care of your, uh, you know, mental health and self-care and everything, that's also really important. So that was one thing that we talked about. We, in order, because it was a bit of a dark subject, we also actually did origami, like had an origami segment as well. Um, but that was one thing. October 26, we had what we call a poetry slam. And that was also actually a lot of fun. Um, but it was kind of highlighting that week was actually a uh, domestic abuse awareness week and alcohol abuse awareness week. So it was kind of um, counteracting that. And essentially the whole point of that was to kind of understand, kind of have a bit of a, um, how do I say this? Like an emotional, like an outburst, but like in a poetic form, that was the whole point of that event. And that was pretty incredible as well. We got quite a few people there. Um, we also partnered with Student Life to do Halloween Fall Festival on October 27th at Stafford and October 31st um, at West Loop Campus. And that was a lot of fun. Quite a few people showed up um, and quite a few people were like really, really like um, like animated about it. We had a costume contest. SGA was judging the costume contest and we had quite a few people. One was dressed up as Han Solo. One was dressed up as a sheriff. Someone was dressed up as a joker and he even had like the teeth for it and everything. So they were very, very, very committed. It was pretty nice. And uh, I mean, I'm sure you can guess this, but the joker won first place, like hands oh, down. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and um, one of the most, um, probably one of the biggest events that we've had is that we actually collaborated with the socialite who goes by the name of Dr. Jackie Colbert, um, who essentially what she does is that she raises money for mammograms so every woman can get like a free mammogram in Texas. And what she does is a fundraising gala that was held October 22nd. So Southwest SGA actually partnered with her by providing um, ceramic pieces to a silent auction portion of that fundraising gala. And we collaborated with the incredible professor, Jason Cashel, who's a ceramics professor at uh, Stafford. And he just don't, he was willing to donate the pieces for free. And um, SGA Southwest SGA kind of helped her like manage the event. Um, and it was pretty incredible. And we also managed to actually uh, personally converse and meet with uh, Mr. Matthew Knowles, who's also known as Beyonce's father yeah. at that event. And also Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. We briefly also spoke with Professor, excuse me, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, which was incredible. And she even gave us the go ahead that you y'all are doing incredibly well. So that was incredible. I'm like still very starstruck by that. <laughs> um, now, the uh, another thing just recently what we actually did was we hosted the election watch party November 8th at Stafford and that was also pretty incredible we collaborated with um, the government chair Dr. Stephen Tran who really helped us out he even paid for the pizza which was so nice of him which he didn't have to do but he did and uh, we also had an origami segment there because like when the when, like we were just basically it was just like a viewing party like the result viewing party and again the whole point of it was to the way we're kind of delegating at Southwest is that we want students to kind of not just like see HCC facilities as like, you know, just academic base, but also that there's so much more going on um, right. beyond outside of that. And we want them to get involved. I mean, as Igor said, that's kind of what SG is all about. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that, that was the, the last, our last big thing was the election watch party, which was November 8th. You know, speaking of getting involved, we talked with Igor about some of the issues they deal with at the Central College. Um, what are some of the issues that, that students are concerned about that they bring to your attention at the Southwest College? Um, I think one of the big things would probably be it's it's like students don't know what they don't know. So they like they usually have a lot of issues with the financial aid, um, like or like there's a there's a whole kind of process in regards to how to be 
qualified for financial aid, yeah. right? Yeah. And a lot of times students don't essentially know that because that um, information is not provided to them directly or in layman's term. So I think that's where um, SGA kind of comes in. What I actually I did is when I found out that a lot of students were being dropped off from their classes literally two weeks before classes were starting, I actually spoke with Miss um, uh, Jolene Joellen Price, who's the executive right. yeah. director for the financial aid department and kind of like just try to assess where the situation is. So um, in order to sort of combat that issue, we did um, tabling. What, what we Tabling sessions essentially is just having a tabling in the atrium or in a place where students really like to hang out and kind of just provide them with this information in person versus them having to rely on social media or on, um, you know, like virtually and stuff because in person right. sometimes is much more effective. But yeah, those um, uh, kind of like what Igor said, actually, what's happening at Central, we also are having issues with um, like the exit entrance and exit doors and like people, especially with disabilities, they're having issues with like the handicap, you know, the handicap button not being as forceful as it should be or not as effective. Um, so that's one thing as well. Um, yeah, uh, but apart from that, I mean, we are trying to keep it as um, we're trying to stay as updated. Right. Yeah, let me ask you um, real quickly. You're a secretary for United Student Council. What's the difference between SGA and United Student Council? So United Student Council essentially is the SGA of the SGAs. So as you okay. know, there are seven colleges. There are there are seven colleges that HCC caters to, and um, I'm a part of Southwest, the Southwest branch at for SGA, but as United Student Council, I am secretary basically for the entire district, HCC district. Okay, okay. So it's a little bit different, a little bit structured, but more or less you report uh, over all of the SGAs with yes, the United yes. Student Council. Okay. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, we are running out of time, but real quickly, what advice would you give people who would like to get involved with the SGA or the USC? I think one of the biggest things I would say is that you have to have this like inherent passion to contribute to community. It shouldn't just be, it, I mean, if you're, there should be ambition always involved in everything. But I think the main thing is like the fact that you're contributing to community. You want to see HCC in a better light. Not that it already isn't like, not that like, I feel like currently we're not killing the game already. We are, but there's always room for improvement. So just, you know, you want, there are things that you genuinely want to change. I would say that that's the main thing and just interacting with people as much as possible. Networking is really, really going to help. Atishi Singh, she is the president of the Southwest SGA and secretary for the United Student Council. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Thank you. All right. We're going to hear more about Student Government Association. When we return, we'll visit with the Southeast College. All that more coming up in 60 seconds. Topic will return. Sometimes what you need just shows up. Houston Community College has your back. Whether you're knocking out some basics or upping your game for a better job, enroll today for spring classes and frame your future with HCC. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome, we need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Things could be stranger, but I don't know how. I'm going through changes, through all of the strangeness. I'm going through changes now. Two, one, two. Welcome back to the topic. I'm Todd Duplantis. We're live this Tuesday afternoon, as we are most Tuesdays. Check us out at 1 p.m. Central on Houston Community College District's Facebook page, YouTube channel. You can also 
Download the audio versions of our show at hccs.edu slash podcast. We're talking about the Student Government Association here at HCC. Right now, we're going to take you out to the Southeast College. Rosa Martinez is the Vice President of the Southeast SGA. Welcome to the show, Rosa. How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? We're good. Thanks for being here. Now, first off, how did you get involved with the SGA? You know, that's an interesting topic. Um, uh, the reason why I got into SGA is actually because our student intern here at HEC actually told me that SGA would be a great opportunity for me to be a little bit more outspoken. And she thought that this organization was a good um, was a good um, opportunity for me to be out of my comfort zone. Are you out of your comfort zone now? Has it pushed you to do things you uh, hadn't planned on? It sure has. It sure has. So tell me, um, we heard some of the issues they have at Central College and the Southwest College. Uh, it sounds like the, the door signage is one problem, but also financial aid is something students have questions on. What are some of the issues that students have brought to your attention at the Southeast College? So one of the things that they mentioned in here is that we want to see a little bit more of brightness in our, here on our campus. We want to see a little bit more of like colors in here compared to the other campuses that we have here at HEC. Um, our HEC is a little bit, I don't want to be rude, but a little bit old fashioned. So just bringing in a little bit more of color would be great for our mood sometimes. So Well, you guys have a new president out there at the Southeast College, so I'm sure she's on board for that. Yes, we love her. Um, so what do you think makes Southeast College different from the other campuses? And how does uh, how does Southeast contribute to that? You know, this question gives me a lot of pride because I really, really like HEC Southeast. I think that HEC Southeast, um, once you step into here, I feel like everybody's really welcome. Everybody's really friendly, really professional. So I feel like once you transmit that, everybody can feel that. Um, and it varies from the admissions department to the advisors to the deans and, of course, our president. Um, they're really interactive with the students and they really care about what the student needs. And like, I feel like not everybody has that or does that for their students. So, What do you guys, um, when you have events, what type of events do you focus on? I know they had a number of them they were talking about at Southwest College. What are some of the events that you guys have going on there at the Southeast College? We focus a lot on what the students want. So whatever they are asking for, we try to bring it into the table and try to host them. So one of the things that I would like to say is that one of the events that we have contributed here at SGA Southeast are like the following, which we have hosted. These are just some. Um, we had hosted Hispanic Heritage Month. We have hosted um, Hispanic Trivia Game, um, Ping Pong. We have also hosted I Survived My First Month of College, in which included like giving out stuff for our students, cookie, coffee, movie day, you name it. And we have also contributed to, you know, learning about your voting rights. We partner up with Jolt, which was a big, which was a major turnout. I think that a lot of students were really happy to see the candidates here at Southeast. Um, we have also um, hosted game tournaments, ping pong. We hosted suicide prevention. I think that's really important for mental health. And we have hosted um, collaborations with other organizations here at Southeast, like for example, Greenhouse Campus Fellowship, Animate, and yeah. What seem to be some of the more popular events that the students uh, enjoy? So things that they enjoy, I think everything. Um, here, our president for Southeast is really interactive with the students and he can actually make it really fun, whether that be educational, whether that be social or emotional, whatever it is. I think every student benefits from that. But I think the major one, I think, will be civic engagement. A lot of students really enjoy getting to know, learning about your important learning about the importance of voting and getting to know the candidates. A lot of students really love that. Yeah, I mean, having the candidates come out there to talk with the students, that's got to be uh, that's got to be good for the students as well to hear what they're all about. Right. Right. And what is being involved in the SGA like for you? For me, I think um, it's actually a great opportunity, not only for me, but everybody who surrounds me. Um, I think that SGA opens a lot of doors. Um, you get to sit with your deans, with your president, and not only that, but you get to network with other professionals. And um, 
a way that I see it is that we get to give back to students in our community. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but Southeast, Southeast is really big on community and giving back to our students. And I think that's something that we as SGAs have implemented this year and the uh, year, the previous year, um, we're really big on community and students. And I think giving back and showing empathy and showing our, li our leadership to students is one of the greatest things on um, being involved on SGA. What is your major and what are you planning on doing once you uh, get finished with HCC? My major is actually in education. I want to be a principal. A principal. All right. Yes. And uh, any, are you, what are your plans after HCC? Or do you have uh, another, uh, are you going to, are you transferring somewhere else? Yes, I actually want to transfer to St. Thomas or UH. I think okay. those are my two major college uh, universities that I want to go to. I'll ask you the same question I asked Igor. Do you have any political uh, aspirations in the future? Maybe uh, do you see yourself going into politics? No, not really. I really don't. Not, not for I don't think it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Um, real quickly, if students who are thinking of getting involved with the SGA, what would you tell them to, to get them involved, encourage them? Well, I mean... It actually involves a lot of things. Like I mentioned, it opens doors for so many things. You get to network with so many professionals out here, with your deans, with your president, and so many people out there that you're going to meet on the long way. And not only that, but you get to plan, you get to host your own events, and you get to give back to students. And I think that's the greatest things that you can do is give back right. and you know, show empathy for others. So, so as for me, that's something that I would tell them. Rosa Martinez, she is the Vice President of the Southeast College's Student Government Association. I want to thank you for being here this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. We're going to have some uh, information in our social media posts after the show on how you can find out more information on your SGA. Thanks for joining us this week on the topic. For more information and to download the audio versions of all of our shows, visit hccs.edu slash podcasts. For the topic on HCC-TV, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next week.